So this is exactly how hackers create what we call phishing website or fake website. And once you clicked on it, because you're authenticated to the website, you're logged into the website, it will make your account do funny stuff. <laughs> So over here on the left side, I've called Linux running. And what I can do now is to go ahead and open up, say, any browser. So in our case, we open up Firefox. So once I've opened up Firefox, enter the IP address or the domain name that we are targeting as a website. So in this case, we have 192.168.0, all right, 156. And of course, we have port 8080 slash webgoat slash login so let's go ahead and log into the website so if you have not yet registered into this website go ahead and register that so we have already done the registration so we can enter the username and of course we can enter the password and we can go and log in right into webcode so webcode is a vulnerable web application system for us to run all our ethical hacking techniques on and remember hacking is illegal if you want to hack run it inside your own lab environment and on the bottom left side we can look and request forgeries. So let's go ahead and click on a cross site request forgery. So cross site request forgery is actually very easy to understand. So as you can see here, we have a link. All right, so this is a hyperlink, a href http bang.com slash transfer account number. All right, and of course we can see over here, account number from and account number to and an amount. All right, so this is what you typically see under the URL as you input different actions into, say, an e-commerce site to add a product. All right, or if you want to do a lookup of your account profile, you'll be able to see, say, for example, your account ID and all those different information inside the URL. And of course, towards the end, you will see the following. View my pictures. So what are the hackers trying to do here is to trick you into clicking the link. And because you are already logged into the website, and because you already log into the website, it will make your account do those actions that a hacker want you to do. In this case, for this example, it is account number from, account number two, and of course, an amount out of your bank account. So in lesson number four, post a review on someone else's behalf. As you can see right here at the bottom, we have John Doe is selling, all right, this particular poster with the reviews below. And we can see here, Loy Liang Yang, five stars, hacked by Loy. This is an awesome tutorial and so on and so forth. So we can see the username and we can see as well as the review. And of course you can input a star. So what we can do now is to do a right click, inspect element to look at the form. All right, so this is the part where we'll be learning about how we can send information on behalf of the user. Okay, so we can do a right click and this as HTML, all right, and you can select everything and I can do a right click and copy it. So now we will open up a text editor, all right? So in this case, we can use mouse pad and go ahead and open that up and we can paste the form that we have just copied over here and I can save it into home. All right, in this case, I'll call it a CSRF hijacked dot html of course i can go ahead and click save all right and i replace the file that i was testing earlier so now we have the form all right and we can see over here we have input class form control and so on and so forth so we can go ahead and get rid of the class so in case they're using certain controls in the javascript and so on and so forth so we can go ahead and remove all those and here we have the id so we'll leave the id as it is because this is the information that will be sent over into the application server for processing Next, we have the name, all right? So likewise, it could be used, all right? In this case, we also have placeholder at the review. So we can easily change up the placeholder, all right? And we can enter, say, for example, hacked by Loy, okay? And we have the type equal to hacks. And of course, all you got to do right now is go ahead and open up this file that we have just created. So I can enter, all right? In this case, we can just go ahead and enter Firefox, followed by csrf hijacked.html, hit enter on this, and it opens up a new tab. And we can see right here, we have a new form, a newly created form by us, hosted in our local computer, all right? And whoever submit from here, will be able to send all those details, all right? With the information, like the comments, the stars, the rating, and all these different details from our local computer all the way into the web application system. So how can we bring this to the next level? What we can do now is to go ahead and change the information here. So instead of using a text, which will be shown to the user, we can change the type to hidden. And next up, we can enter the value on behalf of the user. In this case, we can enter, say, the review text. The review text, we can say, all right, hacker loy is awesome. I will want to subscribe 
to the channel, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification right now. Okay, so again, this is a really, really good, fantastic review. And of course, we have here review star. So in this case, likewise, we can change this to hidden and we can enter the value on behalf of the user. So I can enter five. This is five stars rating. Okay, fantastic. Full stars. All right, this is a perfect review. And what we can do now is right before the input, I can enter the following. Okay, right before the submit button, I can enter the following. I can enter click this submit button to get your hundred dollar vouchers now okay so once we save it i go back to the page i refresh it and we can see right here click this submit button to get your hundred dollars voucher right now so one last thing that we need to confirm is the action all right so this is where we'll be posting into so i can enter http followed by the ip address 192.168.0.156 followed by port 8080 slash web csrf review all right so click the submit button to get your hundred dollar vouchers now so once we have set this forward i can go in and refresh this okay and once i click onto the submit review if you see carefully in three two one i clicked on it that's it lesson completed true it appears you submitted correctly from another side go reload and see if your post is there so what do we just do we forged a review and now if i do a refresh i close the web developer i do a refresh all right, I go to request forgery, cross site request forgery. I click on lesson four. I scroll down and you can see right here, hacker law is awesome. I will want to subscribe to the channel and turn on notification right now. Okay, so very quickly, we're able to create a fake HTML page and we can send it to anybody. And once they clicked on it, that's it. All right, we'll be able to trick them into clicking this button and they thought it would be a $100 voucher. But once they clicked on it, we'll be able to do all sorts of instruction and commands into their account. All right, so how can we bring this to the next level? What we can do now is to go ahead and start up our application server. All right, so we can enter a web application server. We can enter a sudo systemctl start apache, all right, two dot service and enter on that, enter your password. So now we've started our apache server. So what we can do is to go ahead and transfer the file over into our var dub dub dub. All right, so as you can see here, we have a lot of payloads that we've created for you to learn all about ethical hacking. And of course, here we have the CSRF hijacked the HTML. So we'll go ahead and transfer that file. So I'll copy the file, or you can copy, you can do a move, whichever is your favorite choice. var www.html, hit enter on that. All right, permission denied, no worries. Use sudo, super user do, hit enter on that. So we have transferred the file, CSRF hijacked.html, I've copied it over into var www.html. So right here, we have the file, and we also have our IP address of our Kyle Linux machine. So all I got to do now is to go ahead and open up the site, and we can enter IP DDR, so we get our Kyle Linux IP address of 192.168.0.106. I go back to the browser, I enter the website link, 192.168.0.106 full by slash, and we can paste the link right here, CSRF hijacked HTML, and that's it. We hosted our phishing website. And all you got to do if you want to put this onto the internet is to actually enable port forwarding. And what hackers would do is to they will upload all these different kind of fake documents into different kind of cloud providers. So a lot of cloud providers give free trial. And the hackers, what they would do is they would take advantage of those free trials, create all these phishing sites. Once you clicked on it, they will do up a bit.ly link. All right, so it's a shortened link, a shortened form. You clicked on it, that's it, game over. So you have to verify who are sending you all those links, okay? And if they are malicious intent, you have no idea who they are, delete away those messages. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer any of the questions. And like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thanks so much once again for watching.